rock solid, steady and stable Wisconsin makes these kind of changes. Oh, every 35 years or so. Welcome to the Voice of College Football. Please like the video. If you enjoy the content, subscribe as well right here at the Voice of College Football. Thank you for the request, John Kopmeyer, and you can leave your requests for our spring series update right here at the Voice of College Football. Let's take a look at Wisconsin, but before we do, let's go back to 1989. Barry Alvarez, then the defensive coordinator at Notre Dame, stepped onto the campus at Madison as the new head coach of a horrible football program, but said things are going to change and they're going to change for good. And he meant it and he proved it. And within four years, they won the Rose Bowl. And it's been basically the same Wisconsin program ever since Barry Alvarez established it as run heavy, defense, hard work, great technique, fundamentals, and discipline. And here we are years later, and of course, Wisconsin is one of the driving forces in the Big Ten Conference. However, let's also understand that Barry Alvarez hired a Wisconsin man over and over and over and over to replace him, and it continued to work. But Wisconsin is looking at the landscape of the Big Ten and the future, and they're making a break, a change, much like the change to Barry Alvarez from Notre Dame 34 years ago in the form of Cincinnati head coach Luke Fickle. He's young, he's vibrant, he's on the rise, he's taking his first Power 5 job, but he is ready to roll and he is ready to make a decisive factor for Wisconsin in the Big Ten in a new changing landscape in the conference. Of course, USC and UCLA joined the conference in 2024. There will be a new uh, division format, a new scheduling format, probably with no divisions and Wisconsin is looking at increased competition, and they are going for the gusto, going for the gold, and going for the best head coach on the market in Luke Fickle. All right, and he is going to change the offense. He is updating the offense. It is no longer going to be ground and pound. It is going to be high tempo, spread it out, speed in space, and new offensive coordinator Phil Longo comes in from North Carolina. Let's look before we look at the additions, which are massive on uh, both sides of the football. Let's look at the NFL draft losses because they are significant on the defensive side of the ball. Linebacker Nick Herbig was one of the best in the country, racked up 15 and a half tackles for loss and 11 sacks. He's gone, as well as cornerback Jay Shaw, safety John Torchio, an all Big Ten performer with five interceptions. Keanu Benton, one of the best up front at nose tackle. 10 tackles for loss for a nose tackle is superior. And of course, it's Wisconsin. They're always going to lose offensive linemen, and they lose two of their best in Joe Tipman and Tyler Beach. Those are the NFL draft losses. The transfer portal losses, not as significant, but we do need to note, of course, former five-star quarterback and Wisconsin starter who had an up-and-down career at quarterback. Graham Mertz has gone to Florida after 19 touchdowns and 10 interceptions this past year. He does not fit into the Phil Longo offense for sure. Running back Isaac Guerrando found it difficult to break through Braylon Allen and Ches Malusi and get reps from the backfield, but he's a decent back going to Louisville after six yards per carry last season, 17 receptions out of the backfield. After a 7-6 and six campaign, 4-5 and five in the Big Ten, which again, Wisconsin broke from tradition, did not hire Jim Leonard, former player, longtime assistant coach, defensive coordinator, possibly the best in the business, and an interim coach for the remainder of the 2022 season after Paul Christ was fired. They broke from tradition, went with Luke Fickle. Now what is Fickle doing? Well, he's going into the transfer portal, much like what we saw from Mel Tucker in year one at Michigan State, also Lincoln Riley this past season. Heavy additions through the transfer portal, and they should be significant additions. Tanner Mordecai will most likely be the starting quarterback this season. He threw 33 touchdown passes at SMU. If he doesn't give it a go, of course, you got Nick Evers, who's going to battle for the job. He has little experience, but he's a former blue chip prospect as a four star to Oklahoma. At wide receiver, we've got C.J. Williams, who didn't do much at USC as a freshman with four receptions, but of course it was a loaded wide receiver room, and he was a big prospect. Bryson Green from Oklahoma State caught 36 balls and five touchdowns. Will Pauling at Cincinnati, 12 receptions, follows his coach to Madison. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball, but also note Joe Huber, Cincinnati's starting offensive tackle, 
is now at Wisconsin, and he should be in the rotation as well. On the defensive side of the ball, again, a lot of players that played a ton of football and were productive, including Jeff Piotrowski at Michigan State with five and a half tackles for loss in 2021. Defensive lineman Darian Varner from Temple made a lot of big plays in the opposing backfield. Twelve and a half tackles for loss and seven and a half sacks. And also safety Jason Maitre from BC with 42 tackles. So Luke Fickle went heavy through the transfer portal, bringing in veteran players. Therefore, the 2023 recruiting class, his first in Madison, small in numbers with 15 Ranked 38th in the country, according to 247 Sports, three four-stars in the class. Let's look at the schedule for Wisconsin. It starts off with Buffalo at home on September 2nd. Then, of course, they have the trip to Pullman, trying to make amends for a loss in which they dominated statistically but blew the game through turnovers against Washington State last year, 17-14. to And we will have much more on the Badgers' opponents for 2023 as we do our schedule breakdown in a few months, as well as our fall camp season preview and prediction for Wisconsin football. 7-6 and six last year, but a much different look football team approach under Luke Fickle and Phil Longo on offense. No Jim Leonard, though, on the defensive side. We'll see if that costs the Badgers on that side of the football. Leave your comments below. Your thoughts about Wisconsin football in 23 right here at the Voice of College Football.